can't believe he let us in. <gasps> was that your first kiss? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so did he French you? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake up my mom. Oh, he is so cute. I know, <laughs> isn't he? You thought he wasn't interested. Oh, yeah. I didn't really act like it at first. Oh, playing hard to get. <laughs> yeah. God, you know, you are so lucky. <sighs> and I owe it all to Janet Rosenzweig. Hey, how's he gonna find you? He thinks that's your name. No, he knew that was a fake ID. Well, still, you didn't give him your number. Well, he didn't ask. Hey, maybe it was just a one-time thing. So you don't care if you ever see him again? Either way. I guess he didn't want this picture of him then. You got his picture? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> He's really not that cute. What? <laughs> He's gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, Mom. What's going on? She threatened Steffi's life. You misunderstood. Tim. Either that or you're making the whole thing up. You know, I really don't appreciate you manipulating me. What? Morgan's the one leading you around by the... Enough. Look, I know what you think of me, that I'm weak, that I'm Morgan's little pawn, but I am a doctor. And that is the reason, the only reason that I'm here. It's my clinical, professional opinion that she can be cured. Morgan is over there with Ridge right now in her little fishnet hose seducing him. If you're trying to make me jealous, it isn't working. Because you believe she cares about you? And that she respects you? You know what? I believe the same thing. She was my best friend, and she was using me to get to Ridge exactly the same way she's using you. Well, even if you're right. You know I am. All the more reason that she needs help getting over this obsession. But she isn't getting over it. She's sinking deeper and deeper while you're in there baking quiche like Emeril Lagasse. Listen to me, Tim. She threatened the life of Steffi tonight. It isn't in Morgan to hurt that little girl. Oh, God, how am I going to get this through your head? I'm telling you, she will do anything. She will do absolutely anything to get to Rich. What are you doing here? I got sandwiches. Remember we were going to keep working? Not tonight. Well, you still have to eat. Just leave it there. What's the matter? Oh, the police won't help you find Taylor? They don't have to. She's fine. How do you know? She called. That's wonderful. I mean, you must be so relieved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when does she come back? She's not coming back. Morgan forced me to call Ridge and tell him I am never coming back. Why do you think she made me do that? To buy more time? No, she bought herself a lot more than time. She bought herself a future. Ridge is over there thinking I left him. He already believes that Steffi is dead. Can you imagine how vulnerable he is and, and, and how she'll take advantage of that? God, I'm sure it's very painful for him, but it, it's only temporary. You treated Morgan in New York, right? Yes. And she told you about Ridge? Uh, not by name. But she told you how she felt about him? Teenage romances can be very intense. Well, that intensity has morphed in, into a fixation. 
All these years, she's been telling herself if she could just have fridge, everything would be fine. All this pain and all this bitterness welling up inside of her would just somehow magically disappear. And now, he needs her. Those were her exact words. That's what she believes. And you think she's just going to walk away from that? She doesn't have a choice. Yes, she does. She can get rid of me. No. No, if she was going to kill you or Steffi, she would have done it by now. No, she's going to let us go. She would have done that by now. She's biding her time. She's coming up with a plan. She's trying to find a way to pin this all on you. Oh, stop it. Just stop it now. I'm not going to listen to any more of your paranoid fantasies. Come on, Tim. No. No, look, I, 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 I've, I've seen Morgan. I, I know that she's getting better, okay? She's learning to trust. If I betray her now, all the progress that we've made will be undone. Now then, if there's anything else I can do to make you more comfortable, please let me know. Otherwise, I don't think we have anything else to say to each other. Wait. There's one last thing I can ask you to do. isn't coming back? Not yet. She's not ready. Well, she must have given you a better explanation than that. Not really. So where is she? She didn't say. She's probably afraid I'll come and get her. Well, to be fair, I, you probably would. Because you're such a passionate person. And I'm sure that intimidates Taylor. It just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. You know, Rich, I know you more than anyone, and I know how much your family means to you. And it must be very painful to realize that Taylor doesn't feel the same way. Hi, Mrs. Forrester. Hello, Julie. Betsy. Would you like to tell me what's going on in here? We were just talking. You said you were going to Lisa's house for a study group. Was that true? Uh... No. <sighs> you girls are going to have to go home. Bridget. Bye, Bridget. Bye. I don't like being lied to. I know. I'm sorry. Where did you get those leather pants? I bought them. Well, I'm sorry you had to waste your money. But they're going to Goodwill tomorrow morning. Mom! I would like to know where you and those pants were this evening. Are you hungry? No. When Morgan forced me to call Reg, I could see that there were messages in the little screen. I know they were from Reg, and I just... I just want to hear him. Oh, I, uh, I don't know. Please. I'm never gonna see him again. Of course you'll see him again. <laughs> All right, well, uh, wh wh where is it? It's in the drawer. You try anything. I'm, I'm not. Which one? The last one. How do I, uh... That's the button that says messages. First message. Doc, it's me. I know you probably don't want to hear from me. I just, um... I just wanted to make sure you're all right. If you could give the kids a call, it'd mean a lot. 
are having uh, quite a tough time with this. <laughs> we miss you. We love you. <laughs> I understand, at least I'm trying to, why you had to go. But God, Taylor, I just want you home. I want to hold you. Do whatever I can to get you through this. I hope to hear from you soon. <laughs> Family meant everything to Taylor. Well, maybe that's why it hit her so hard. Losing Steffi? I mean, if time away is all she needs. But it wasn't helping. You don't know that? Yes, I do. I could hear it in her voice. Ridge, you've got to stop focusing on Taylor and focus on yourself and the kids. You can't go on like this. We're fine. No, you're not. I mean, look at you. You're trying to keep everything together at work. And you're trying to raise two frightened children. It's too much. Look, if you don't take care of yourself, you're going to get run down. And who's going to be there for Phoebe and Thomas? I know Catherine is a big help with the kids, but she can't run a household. Please, just let me make a few phone calls, and I'll get someone in here who can take control. Morgan. Let me handle this, OK? I'm sure I've got a number of an agency. I know why you're doing this. I'm just worried about you and the kids. You don't believe Taylor's ever coming back to me, do you? Mom, it wasn't a big deal. You may not think so, Bridget. But now every time you tell me you're going to a friend's house to study, I'm going to have to wonder if that's true. I'll have to check up on you. Now, is that the kind of relationship you want to have with me? No. I want the truth, Bridget. Where were you tonight? They're celebrating in Oakdale. Oh, this is going to be great. CBS proudly congratulates As the World Turns on their outstanding 25 Daytime Emmy nominations. I have to keep pinching myself to know that I'm not dreaming. There's never been a better time to get into As the World Turns because when you're on a winning team... What happens next is everything. We went out. Out where? To a bar. To a bar? But we weren't drinking at all. Betsy just heard about this place, and she wanted to check it out. Oh, Betsy wanted to check it out. OK, I did too. But, Mom, it wasn't a dive or anything. I mean, it's not like we were hanging out with bikers or felons. We just went out, played a little pool, and came home. I'll tell you why I'm concerned. Because I lied. No, it's not just that. The pants? The pants are not the issue. Can I... No, you can't keep them. Honey, when Rick was your age, he got mixed up with a very bad influence. Amber and now Deacon. Well, I'm not Rick. I know you're not. But when you go to a bar dressed like that, emphasizing your sexuality, men are going to be attracted to you for all the wrong reasons. They take advantage of young girls like you. Mom, nobody took advantage of me. Well, good. I'm glad. Because I wouldn't want that to happen to my beautiful, intelligent daughter. Okay. Do we understand each other? Yes. And I'm really sorry. Good night, Mom.
mystery man. Next message. Taylor, it's nine o'clock. Just put the kids down for the night. I think this is when I miss you the most. It was always our time when we could stop being mommy and daddy and just be together. It feels so strange not having you here. Anyway, just wanted to let you know I was thinking about you. I love you. End of messages. Taylor, you'll be home. You'll be home before you know it. I promise. Sounds like somebody's paging you. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring her right down. Hi, Steffi. You want to go see Mommy? Phone. Yes, that's right. It's Mommy's phone. No, 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 don't touch. No, don't touch the phone. Steffi. She can get the phone. That's how we can get out of here. If anyone understands what Taylor is going through right now, it's me. That's not what I asked. You want to know if I think Taylor is coming back to you? No, I don't. I'm sure that's not the answer you want to hear, and you probably don't even believe me. I wouldn't have a couple of months ago. I thought that we proved we could handle anything. I mean, that's what she said to me when we renewed our vows. Whatever happens, we'll get through it together. I'm sure she meant that at the time. Rich, you've got to stop thinking about the past. You've got to deal with the present and start making plans for the future. A future without Taylor? Look, I hope you'll let me help you. What, by hiring a housekeeper? No. I want to do more for you. I really, really want to help you every way I can. Consider it me repaying a debt. Who gave me hope when I had none? You did. I was almost dead. I couldn't feel anything. And you brought me back to life. And I tricked you. And I regret that. I regret it so much because that's what has brought this distance between us. And now, I see you hurting the same way I was hurting. And I just want to reach out to you. I hope you'll let me do that. We shouldn't be having this conversation. No. Conversation isn't what we need. Morgan, stop. No, you stop. Stop pretending like you don't need anyone. You can't get through this on your own. You need someone. Someone you can count on. Someone who will be there for you when things get difficult. You need me. And here I am.
Imagine standing inside a tornado of fire. David Copperfield will attempt to do just that live. Let me stand next to your fire. Wings that can blow your roof off. Heat that can melt steel. Can David Copperfield survive the tornado of fire? Live CBS Tuesday.